junction. I was meant to play Vikings. This I see now this was what my life was about. <laughs> uh, Chromie is pretty good, Eugenario, but not a lot of people can play her properly. Everyone can spam abilities, but to hit them with a large majority of the time, that that's the important part. I miss my dogs, can we get some Logan love? I gotta tell you, NRA, I'm not looking forward to the day that I have to kiss Logie goodbye. I can't even imagine how it feels, but here he is. He's yours for the time being. He wants to play, you see? Such a lovely creature. I heed the voice of Elum. Do we look alike? Well, I'm human and he's a canine. So not really. They say, oh, they say uh, owners look like their dogs or vice versa. But I can't really say that I'm a big white hairy giant. How old is he? Two years. Two years, two weeks. That's true. I often have a wet nose too. In that sense, I guess I'm a bit of a dog. Oh no, that's terrible, the Sporks through 11. Rip. Uh, what do I get? I don't have much time to think. The light abandons no bring the mega dick. Okay, ETC. Where's Glam Metal ETC? Oh, yeah. That one? That one's horrible. Glam Metal. Oh my god, that one's bad. <laughs> no, thank you. Heroes, prepare for combat. Let me try my mouth voice. Heroes, prepare for combat. Let the battle spread. begin. Let the battle begin. Enemy slain. Enemy slain. Hero of the storm. Hero of the storm. I still think I need to work on it. Not that good. Not that good. Uh, easy see announcer. I, I usually play ETC with ETC and I, so I want to try something you. different. You should play Vikings on every map for one week just to see what win rate you would have. I'm betting about 75% plus. I'm betting about 50%. Because not everyone knows how to play with Vikings. You sound like a drunk Gandalf. Says username L Gandalf. You sure you don't hear Gandalf and everything? And you are actually drunk, and that's why you think so. <laughs> yeah, my orc voice is better. 
unfortunately. You should get yourself out there with those voice skills. Get an agent, yo. From order hmm. comes justice. Yeah, maybe I will. Double support versus double support. But they are more supportive. We are more damaging, at least to run this. Okay, uh, less than three. Jackalope, we should have this game, this Viking game, up tomorrow or Thursday. So, one or two days from now. Just so you know. Because you wanted to show it. the level 20 to run this take now i missed it uh it's the consecutive uh auto attack damage or something it, it's a bit like the level seven it looks like the level seven as well isn't it boring that you play against with the same players over and over no actually i like it i prefer playing with the same guys all the time uh rather than uh wild cards I mean, I'm I'm mid top GM right now. Everyone's good. It's a lot of good games in a row. I like it. Do we get block party? Bad against Tusk. Good against Zeratul. Good against Stukov. Okay against Vala. Frog Rog is hard to stack. Guitar Hero is good for the solos. Hmm. Get the block party. Uh, my favorite hero is Rainer, but he's not my best, nor is he the best. My best hero is Vikings, but he's not my favorite. Why is he your favorite? He's just awesome. Auto attack after auto attack. Every auto attack he does. I just feel satisfied. I can't explain it. This is gonna take a while. He's gonna interrupt me, then I'm gonna interrupt him, and then he's gonna... What? Merci beaucoup, Anubarak. Get loudspeakers. Mm. 
Their gank's better than our gank. If only people ganked my lane, uh, it will make me so happy. What do you know to look for if block is good or bad? Just the height of the absolute number of their auto attack damage. It's not even about speed of their attack. It's just the height of a character's damage. Stukov hits for 300 plus, so block is good. Vala hits for between 60 to 150, or sometimes 350. That makes her an okay block. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't get closer. Targeting problem. Is this a mosh pit game? No. So I get uh, echo pedal. Oops. Oops. Now we have minions. Now he's dead. available for collection now. Or not. Enemy nuke launched. I'm gonna fountain. I hope my team Retreat understands. It is strategy. Do we still contest this? There's many of them. Our enemy has destroyed a fort. It's four of them and we're three, so we shouldn't. Although we have two coming, so we should stay. Fala solo pushed for a long time. Collection. Huh. You're the real Choose a tower. Stay there. I'm just gonna go down here. I have this. Did Vala go auto? Of course Vala went auto attack. It's timeless. <laughs> One man VP. Sick. Maybe I can tank this. We can get... Oh, Luther's tanking it. Man, Timeless loves quests! He goes auto attack build even against the team that we have now, which makes no sense. We have triple stun and hard engage. No sense at all. 
Admirable he just likes quests. And on this map, you can't complete auto attack quests on this map. Like, it's like if I played Zuljin here, and I don't know why I would pick it, but let's say quick match, I would always go mage build. You, There's just not enough contact. This map is like, uh, I don't know, one of those games where you're in space. You don't know if you're ever gonna meet anybody. What was that game called where... Um, okay, I found it again. Where they said you can meet each other in space. And then they actually met each other. It was like hype like half a year ago. And then two people went to meet each other in some kind of... Start... Yeah, exactly. You guys knew exactly what I'm talking about. No Man's Sky. Come. Yeah, Warhead Junction is like No Man's Sky. Would you go for an auto attack quest on No Man's Sky? I get the slow. Did he get Templar's will? No. Try t when you uh, when you're playing ETC. Try to uh, not separate from the team unless you've got stage dive up. You can be like in 30 seconds off stage dive, but you really need that flexibility to be able to join the team. I'm just procking his damn magic. Wave clear. Ah, that wasn't needed. I was gonna get away. Stage dive, more like wave dive. <laughs> so I separated with 10 seconds CD on stage dive, which is okay. Let's start thinking about level 16. Imposing, aggressive, showstopper. Uh, should be imposing. Let's this board is off the way. And level 20, I'm not sure. I always like crowd pleaser. Bigger Aria CDR. It's like your version of Epic Mount and Apex Predator. <laughs> Hi. No, not worth stage diving. They needed that. I kind of slept on that. We should have probably got top boss, but we're getting a full fort, which is nice as well. Imposing presence. Just gonna go get a nuke and then I'll stage dive in and I'll nuke him and we'll win and there's gonna be much rejoicing. Warhead collection. Our fort has fallen. 
Our fort has fallen. Actually, I could just kill their keep. I'll just play it safe. See, always nice playing it safe. We've lost the keep. You're the real master. <laughs> Very nice safe play. This boy is on the lead. Hell yes. Okay, we're gonna kill them all. Now that's death. Ah. Uh, oh. Timeless. Come on, man. Uh, Taronda is still support, but she's classified. Yeah, she's classified as one, but she's more of a ranged assassin. What do you mean, nice inting? It was my first death. I can show build now. I created some time flying Moses to contemplate and reflect. Block party for Stukov Zeratel. Uh, loudspeakers to interrupt Stukov's lurking arm from further and more effectively and to peel for backline. Echo pedal for wave clear. Stage dive to use that wave clear in the offlane and then use stage dive to join the fight. Also, they have too many interrupts for Moshpit. Uh, imposing for extra uh, attack speed slow, obviously. That's, I mean, it's, that's what it says it does, but I think it's a good choice. Um, and then uh, I think I'll get Crab Pleaser. I could get Death Metal as well, but I'm not so good at dying with ETC. I'm too good. Just kidding, lol. Uh, it's either going to be Death Metal or Crab Pleaser. Warhead collection complete. Preparing for next round. Anger is a gift. Enemy new launched. Nuclear launch detected.
Choose a talent. Get the crowd pleaser. That's actually good for us, we can set up. I was otherwise at risk. Okay, we need healing. Actually, yeah, I do need to get Phantom. It's not good to just stage dive onto the map just because I have it. Ending. Stupid. Of course we're ending. They don't have, they don't have 20 yet. Or are we ending? Healer, go. Uh, Patience, our time shall come. <laughs> GG. I had yes. no idea what they wanted to do there. The it is absolutely a big throw. Like, we had LZ. much better map control. I can just go back and defend the waves. No one says anything. I ask, shall we fight? No one says anything. I, I go back. People attack as four anyway. Then I say, and I guess no one says anything. So we just go. One retreat ping, everyone would go back. Legit, like... Really good team. No one says anything. Shot calling is half the game in Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> no, the game didn't tilt me. I don't mind that we lost. I don't mind any part of it. And I, even though I'm impassioned, I don't mind that we lost that way, nor what they said. But legit, one of the things that I do mind is really good players playing together, playing uh, seamlessly, or as seamless as you can in Hero League, but then always reserving their judgment uh, about what we should do next. Making plans and, and, and executing them is one of the most satisfying things in Heroes of the Storm. Not making plans and just doing random stuff we all know how that feels. 99% of the games like that in Heroes of the Storm on Hero League is just playing and no plans. Look at quick match, look at any level. But uh, when you have that good players and I'm trying to discuss like, what shall we do, what shall we do? No one says anything. 
Uh, and to be honest, that bothers me. Because we can do better. And everyone is like, too cool for school, you know, that kind of thing. Too cool for school to say anything or too distracted or lazy. I don't believe that they are more satisfied now than if they had said something. So let's ping. Let's make some plans. No, yeah, that's what happens. When that happens, you need to be the one to call the shots. But I wasn't sure. That's why I asked. If I'm sure, I will make the call. But I wasn't sure. In fact, I pinged back. And if your tank is leaving, you should leave. But no one left. So... In a kind of vague, soft way, they disagreed with the my ping and they stayed. Nowhere. They wanted to keep. We used a nuke on the keep. We stayed as four against four in their base. When they have VP, that's risky. Greedy so we strength. get. The, no one said now, keep and back. I'd be so happy if they said lost. keep and back. This would have been a baby, I think. Don't worry about the game. It's fine. Go next. Zero. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's freaking fine. Want to play. <laughs> it's totally fine. Well, I said end, I guess, and I came back after leaving Morgenstern. I first pinged back, or I pinged that I was going home, and then I said end, I guess, because I thought that I was following their call. The point is, it's no one's fault, but no one has the moral high ground either, because no one said anything before it happened. That's why I enjoy your stream. Keep up the great work and commentary. <laughs> Thank you, Trevizel. 